to At Home with Lucas. So today we're going to be talking about San Francisco Bay coffee and we're going to talk about their French roast. But this is not just going to be any simple review. These are actually one cup coffee pods. Yes, people, these things are compostable from the top to the bottom. There's almost no plastic in here at all. So you're not going to get any funky taste and you're also not going to hurt the planet. Yes, people. So in this video, we're going to be doing a hands-on with the box quick unboxing and first impressions on said pods. After that, I'm gonna be throwing those bad boys into the K-Mini, of course, and we're gonna brew up a nice hot cup of coffee. Then I'm gonna do my favorite part of this whole shebang, the sip test. Yes, people, I absolutely love tasting new coffee, and I think this one is going to be smoky. <laughs> After that, we're gonna figure out is this a daily, weekly, monthly, or never consumption coffee? It does happen, people, it does happen. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So up the top, you have San Francisco Bay Coffee. That is what's up, people. This is a Rogers Family Company. I went with the French roast. I am someone who truly loves a good French roast. So this is going to be a real interesting review because I am very picky about my French roast. So we'll see what this is all about. This is a their darkest roast which is very interesting because I would think Italian would be darker than French old full bodied with a smoky finish Ooh, and look what you could do with those cups you can put them under your pine tree or your flowers that love a good acidic um, soil so definitely look into that if you want to make your flowers look better I went with the 12 pack just because it was the cheapest. So here we go on the bottom, you have directions and then you have storage. You will have to store them a certain way, otherwise they're gonna get stale. So that is something to take note of when you're buying these type of pods. They're not actual cups. All right, let's crack this bad boy open. Okay, so it looks like this just opens like a normal box. There's no quick uh, pull or anything like that. Yeah, okay, so they're all sealed inside of here. Ooh, this is a compostable bag. That is so cool. All right. Boom shakalaka. Woo! I just love the way that these pods look. Very, very nice, very clean. You're not going to mistake this for another company out there. The aroma that's coming off of here is truly amazing. And that's something with K-Cups you don't get when you do a review or when you open a box of K-Cups. It just smells like plastic. That's it. These, you're getting the aroma of the coffee, and that is so, so nice. So if you drink these quick, you know, you drink 12 of them in a week, they might not go stale. So you may be able to leave these in a normal... Um, k-cup holder like i'm gonna do and just see if they uh go stale on you um but yeah very very cool i love the fact that these are eco-friendly and straight to the point um they're not messing around at all but yeah very very good aroma absolutely amazing all right coming up we're gonna throw this into the k mini and brew up a nice hot cup of coffee all right, so this is actually my new kitchen right here. We did a lot of painting of the cabinets, and this is my coffee station. I still have some of the stuff that you've seen before. This was actually a Goodwill buy right here. I'm gonna show you a picture of the before of that. Yeah, it took a lot of work, and I had to figure out a few things. There is uh, some more stuff from the old house right there. Um, the coffee station is a little bit lower than I typically would go for, but the kids are not attacking it, so uh, we are A-OK. -okay. I actually just ran this through my K-Mini to get everything nice and clean. Um, this really doesn't have any taste to it, so I'm not worried about it causing any problem with the K-Mini, but uh, I also have a clean, brand new mug right here for the review, so we're gonna have a real simple, real straightforward coffee review. I also put the K-Pods into my K-Cup holder and I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm kind of like, you know what? This is somewhat airtight in here. Um, it doesn't seal like super tight, but it's it's good enough and I think it'll last for a couple days and I'm not too worried about that at all. And I just love the aroma that comes off of here. It's absolutely amazing. 
go ahead and pop that in there. That's how it goes in. Super simple, super easy. Drop that down onto there. And then of course, we're gonna fill this up with eight fluid ounces. That's how I do all my reviews. All right, there we go. We have our eight fluid ounces. I usually don't put it on strong when I do a review and I'm gonna do the same for this one. That way you get the water flowing through the grounds at a pretty good speed. Oh wow, it's not even watery at all. Typically with K-Cups, you get a little bit of water. Look at that rich stream. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. Holy bejesus, people. That is exactly what you wanna see. Wow, look at that. All right, let's get into this sip review, people. Woo, that smells potent for sure. That is a very, very powerful smelling coffee and it looks just as rich. <laughs> All right, let's get into this, people. Ooh, wow. Okay, so the first hit is like a water then sweet, then very, very smoky. Holy bejesus, people. Mm. Wow. That is absolutely incredible. Holy moly. That thing is packed full of so much power. I almost feel like I'm gonna cough. That's how smoky it is. Like, it is truly a powerhouse of a coffee right here. Wow, the inhale is, is smoky but sweet. There's no, I'm not really tasting any bitter. Well, I'm getting a little bit of bitter as I say that, of course, back by my molars right now. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. Wow. Yeah, that is definitely a cup of coffee that's going to wake you up. It's definitely a cup of coffee that you're going to enjoy getting up. You're going to go TGIM, thank God it's morning. You're going to be racing to your K-Mini, to your Keurig. You're going to be super, super excited to get this thing brewed. Um, it's definitely strong, though. It's definitely strong and smoky. So if you're not someone who is interested in a strong, hitting cup of black coffee, skip this, go with something else. But... If you're someone who adds cream, adds sugar, adds all that fun stuff in your coffee, this is actually one you should buy because you're gonna get that taste of coffee that's gonna power through all of that stuff that you put in there. So Starbucks typically makes super strong espresso shots that are powerful and will overcome any kind of syrup and creamer and sugar and uh, goat's milk and uh, soy milk and oats milk and all that fun stuff that you put in it It's going to power through it and this is definitely the cup right here That's going to do that for the home buy this if you're adding cream and sugar um, Definitely enjoy this cup of coffee with something sweet. I think maybe like a maybe like a uh, um, a Pastry with some kind of jam in the middle. I'm thinking maybe like strawberry or something I think that would be absolutely amazing. Um, some kind of flaky pastry would be good as well. Yeah, you could go really, really sweet with this because this is mostly smoky. Um, there's a little bit of earthiness in there. There's some nuttiness in there. Um, and there is some sweetness, but it's not like an overpowering, overwhelming sweetness. So it's definitely something that you can enjoy. I'm going to give this a solid 4.9 star rating, people. I am back at the review of coffee. Woo! Yes. Uh, finally got my new house pretty much all buttoned together. Uh, this is the loft slash studio slash office <laughs> slash kids playroom um, that I'm filming in right now. And I will definitely have a house tour coming up very, very soon. So enjoy or look forward to enjoying that. <laughs> hmm. 
wow, yes. I actually have a whole bean cup of coffee uh, review. Whole bean cup of coffee? I got a whole bean review coming really soon that I am crazy excited about. You may have actually seen the bag already. It's down there next to the K-Mini. Um, it might have been in the background. You may have seen it. Woo! I don't know. Um, but yeah, this coffee is definitely giving me a boost. I'm definitely feeling joy and happiness from it. Um, I think that where these beans were grown, definitely a positive area. <laughs> Sometimes you drink coffee and you just feel angry. You're just like, ah, like Starbucks coffee. Their, their espresso shots are just full of anger sometimes you just drink it and you're like ah i just want to like rage um maybe it's the caffeine i don't know anyways solid star rating definitely buy a cup uh wake up early enjoy this and get on with your day people Woo! i'm back all right there you go that's that san francisco bay coffee hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did definitely click it and click that like button if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 4K. Yes, people, on my way to 5K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.